A pair of Hopkinton Girl Scouts were at the select board meeting to receive proclamations for receiving the Girl Scout Gold Award. Girl Scout Emma Bograd worked on a dog park project to help establish regulations and safety protocols. Have worked to find gather information um, spanning nine different dog parks, uh, surveying 100 people both about how much they know about how to keep their dogs safe in the dog park, socialization of dogs in the dog park, and how often it's used and how many people and dogs they usually see on a typical basis. Um, on top of that, I've worked on gathering information about the rules and regulations for, for the dog park um, in order to present a set of rules and regulations for our hopefully future dog park um, to make sure that everything is safe and that the rules are, are in line with what some of the dog parks are in the area but also in line with how to make sure that ours is our own but still safe and um, so after that, I also worked on creating a class. So this class was on safety for the dog park so that people can socialize their dogs there safely so that they don't have to develop any fear aggression and they aren't just left at home. Girl Scout Mallory Pishoff tried to integrate different parts of the community through music. Awesome. All right, Mallory, why don't you tell us a little something about what you did? Um, well, the, a big part of my project was trying to integrate different parts of the community through something that can be shared. And with mine, I chose to try and integrate different aspects of music, including bringing members of the Golden Pond community to be able to come to the Hopkinton High School Pops concert in the spring, which is something that allows them to both be able to go out into the community, meet new people, and be exposed to what different things are happening with the music association and stuff coming out of the high school in that degree and I did a lot including organizing different aspects of the thing of the, thing, of the concert including the arranged seating that they do for that specific concert including reserving seats allowing ease of access for those coming from Golden Pond to be able to enter early be seated before crowds come in transportation from the facility to and from the facility and being recognized by the concert and the community in throughout the thing. Three Boy Scouts also received proclamations for receiving the rank of Eagle Scout. Patrick Barnes and Jack Riley worked on a soapbox car. Good to see you. So me and Jack's Eagle project was we built a two-person soapbox derby car for an able body driver and a um, autistic or anybody that can't race on their own that needs help and I was inspired to do this because I have an autistic cousin and my mom works with the special ed students and I've been I raced soapbox for eight years and I'd always see the cars at the races and they would be side by side and they'd go down the hill and when I proposed this idea to my dad he thought we should do a front and back and when we decided we wanted to do this, I had mentioned it to Jack, and he thought it was a cool idea, so we hopped on it with me. We both made our own, and the project took a lot of time. He has pictures. Yeah. It took us a little over a year, uh, over 800 hours, but in the end, they came out really well. Jack brought them to a race. The kids loved them, and they go to Massachusetts' local soapbox derby organization, which is in Arlington but anybody from around the state can go and race the cars. But just 900 cuts of wood, 800 hours to make the thing. Oh, tons of time sunk into it. It took us almost a year and a half. And overall, we, seeing how it came out, seeing the kids' <coughs> reaction, we wouldn't take any of it back. Yeah, well, that's a lot through it too. Yeah. yeah. Ethan Kramer built some fresh new picnic tables for the Michael Lisnow Respite Center. Um, so my project, um, I went down to the Respite Center um, uh, and I bought them some 
nice pressure treated wood uh, from Hopkins and Lumber, and I built them uh, picnic tables to uh, like not only replace to the the ones that they had, but kind of just add on because um, the existing picnic tables they had in their uh, recreational area were kind of weather beaten and um, not as sturdily made. Um, so I wanted to give them something that would uh, last a while. So I uh, bought the wood from Hopkins and Lumber, uh, cut it with uh, friends of mine, and uh, like screwed the uh, like the hole, like drilled the holes and uh, put the bolts in, and put it all together, and then uh, finished it with uh, uh, stain, so that it would be more res resilient to the weather. And um, I also took a slide of theirs and uh, washed it and repainted it for them. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so. I kind of I decided to do my project at the respite center um, because uh, not only did I just always know that the people who work at the respite center um, put in countless hours and just extreme uh, effort.